the folks from Harmon that are here working uh, really exemplify a big part of what we're all about and it's bringing people together to help others that uh, really want to partner with us, meaning our families that are our family partners that are looking to improve their own lives and work with us to do that. And we just uh, are the conduit for the, them to get into home ownership because uh, those families know, we know, and most people we talk to know that they're better off uh, you know, socially, emotionally, physically, and financially uh, if they're able to have a decent place to live and an affordable place to live. It is, I mean, it's interesting to see the joy in some of the families when I've gone to the groundbreakings or the ribbon cuttings, the joy in the families and the fact that they actually partner with you. How many families have we been able to help in the last couple of years and is there a goal? Like how many families do you think in the next year or two, where are we headed? Well, it's been exciting. Uh, when I came on, we were just getting ready to celebrate our uh, 30th year as an affiliate and we had done uh, 60 homes locally in Harrisonburg and Rockham County. So we were doing one or two a year, averaging two a year. So the board knew that uh, we had an increased need for, for housing. Uh, so over the uh, past, uh, well, I'll just take you back uh, two, two years, we've done uh, 12 additional houses. So we've moved it up to four or five houses a year. And uh, I think it's been really remarkable since March of uh, 2020, the day where we started, COVID started affecting our lives, we were still able to place eight families in, in homes. So uh, we, the board has had a commitment to doing more and uh, through our new home build. And in fact, not only uh, do we now have a new home build, but just in recent months, we're adding a critical home repair program. And that critical home repair program, the focus is to again, serve more families. Uh, but there are some cases where uh, critical repairs, roofing, uh, uh, decking, or uh, ramping, uh, makes the house so that that family can stay in that home, right. have a decent place to live, affordable place to live, and they don't need a new home. So we're really thinking that uh, we can probably, uh, again, double the number of families that we're serving just through our critical home repair. So I think our hope is uh, we'll go from uh, four or five families served in a year uh, over the next year probably to 10 families served between the two, two programs. So I think that's exciting, exciting stuff. And it uh, again speaks to uh, the giving nature of the organization and the community that we're able to do that, um, even in a time where material prices are going up, right. COVID is affecting right. us, you know, it's, it's yeah. an interesting time. Oh, it is, and it's, um, I, I appreciate you letting us connect. You know, when our employees got together to kind of establish what do we believe our core values are, one of them is connecting with and supporting our community. So being able to have a way to uh, connect so easily using the skills like our guys have. We had a couple of guys that we were able to send out um, and it really kind of invigorates us too because you know you give as employees of our company um, something bigger than themselves to focus on so it's it's really a privilege for us to be able to connect with you all as well the partnership with Harmon has been great and and those numbers I just quoted uh, you know Harmon has been a, a big player in in that situation as as uh, your employees have come out and helped in a variety of ways but particularly on the framing of a home as if you can imagine the framing component of the home uh, is a major component and uh, if we can keep that labor cost down for families it's it's a big jump forward to, to, toward affordable housing and I think you all have done that on uh, at least three or four homes for us uh, in recent years and uh, as you can tell it continues to continues to happen well thanks for coming out and joining me on short notice I know I just called this morning and said, hey, could you be on the job site this afternoon? So uh, good chance to connect about it. Most people know that I'm ready on a moment's notice to talk about uh, Central Valley Habitat for Humanity. <laughs>